crafty friends, I'm Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and I decided that this year I was going to add, um, hopefully a bunch of videos online all the time, um, well, once a week, maybe twice a week, if I'm super lucky, but anyway, I thought about one of the videos that I really should be doing is uh, the yogi part of my craftiness, right? So the crafty yogi. So two o'clock Tuesdays, um, somewhere in the two o'clock hour, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna do a little short video because we all need a little yoga to keep us crafting for hours and feeling good and having fun. So join me, two o'clock on Tuesdays, a little yoga for the crafter. So today, uh, just get comfortable on your seat. I usually sit on a stool, so I wanna slide forward and make sure my feet are on the ground. We're gonna do just like five minutes of yoga so we can craft the day away. So we're gonna start with the hands. Anybody have arthritis or uh, carpal tunnel or issues in your hands? These are some great exercises that you can do in between crafting. You can do them when you're the passenger in a car. You can do them when you're waiting somewhere. And that's what I think yoga should be, is something you can take with you all of the time. So we're gonna start with the fingers. So put your hands up and pick, uh, let's start with the pointer finger. So the, we're gonna, I call this digging. So you're gonna imagine that you're digging a teeny tiny hole. If anybody's a gardener, you know, maybe you're digging a little hole to put a seed in. So we're gonna move the fingers and try to isolate just the pointer finger. And you can do both of them together, or if you got lots of time, I would do one finger and then do the other. But today we're gonna do them together. So move those fingers a little bit. All right, go to your middle finger and gently dig in the dirt. Really delicate is using that finger just by itself as much as you can. Good, all right, now go to the uh, ring finger. My ring finger does not like to move independently by itself here, but that's okay. The more we do this, the better we'll feel. Go to the pinky. Yep, dig your little hole there. All right, and then the thumb. Let's dig a little bit with the thumb. Good, really isolating that joint and using it. All right, let's try all the fingers. Good, so you're digging in some soft dirt. Now add your wrist. Good, add the wrist, or right, add the elbow. So sometimes I feel a little bit more like a, um, a cheetah here, running, you know, if these were my front legs, running and using all of my hand. Okay, and then shake it out, shake it out. All right, give me a couple shoulder rolls. Roll them big. Anybody get tension here when we're crafting because the head is forward and we're leaning in? So roll the shoulders really big. Let's add some breath. Inhale up and exhale down. Oh, good. And one more time. Okay. We're going back to the hands. Bring one hand up, one finger at a time. You're going to pull gently down on the finger. There we go and breathe. And then the next finger. Good. And you want to do like maybe one full inhale and exhale, or if you've got a little extra time, do two breaths here and do the middle finger. You can, of course, find this video again on Facebook. I think there's actually a category of videos. Do your pointer finger, or I am going to post them on my YouTube channel, so you can find them there too. Good. And your thumb. Good. Breathing. Now on this same hand, put your arm all the way out. Put your palm down and reach up and pull the fingers back. Okay, and let yourself breathe here. You'll feel lots of stretch here in the forearm and depending how tight you are, some of us are gonna feel it in the bicep. There we go. All right, so I've been teaching yoga for 15 years. I've been a Stampin' Up! demo for five years and I think the things go together. You need some yoga, you need movement for the body and you need your crafting, right? And then release this gently and go to the other side. So one finger at a time, pull the finger, right? We need our crafting, our creative expression. It's what keeps us young, it's what keeps us going. Good, breathing, and breathing is important. Go to the next finger. Oh, it feels so good. I'm getting ready to prep for class, so I've gotta cut a lot of paper and get things ready, so it's good to prepare. Or, a next finger, oh, or if you notice, as you're going, you need to take a break. Um, come take a break and do a little bit of yoga. All right, we're almost done. Next finger. Oh, that feels so good. All right, the thumb. Gently pull that thumb down. There you go. Breathe here. All right, now the whole hand. Remember, we put the arm out straight, palm is forward, and then we gently pull the fingers back. Oh, feels magnificent. Good, and we're gonna breathe here. And when I say magnificent, it can feel a little bit like it's pulling or tugging, and that's okay. If anything is pain, then that's where you wanna back off a little bit, okay? So discomfort a little is okay. 
All right, one more breath here. All right, then we're going to let it go, and then you're just going to shake them all out. Shake your hands, shake your shoulders, shake your head. One big shoulder roll, please. And there you go. A little yoga for crafters. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, give a like or a heart or something. Let me know that you were here, whether you find it now or later. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, and have a great day.